So how do you help someone that's not tech literate switch to Linux? And why should you listen to me? Well, once I submitted 83 commits on GitHub. This is something that a lot of Linux nerds struggle with. And it comes down to just not understanding what the client wants, basically, to use a business term. So basically, when you hit into the business world, your job as the expert is to get the job from a customer. Let's say they want um, a new desktop system delivered to them. And they're just going to say they want the super fast system. Money, no object. Now, you can just give them the top of the line, you know, an epic system, you know, with 2000 calls or whatever. But that's not going to get you repeat business. What you do is you listen to what the customer wants. So you'll be like, do you do CAD work? Do you do gaming? Do you do this? And then you kind of just get a list of items. Well, you get a list of requirements of what the user actually needs. And then you build a system spec around that. So you might find out that the, the user only needs 12 cores and 32 gigs of RAM. You know, you've just saved them a couple of grand, but you know, rather than just getting them the best of the best, which they'll never use. And switching people that don't really understand computers to Linux is, is basically just exactly the same. So what we need to do is set out some ground rules, okay? And that is, the first thing is the distribution you like is just a distribution you like it's not the right tool for the job so you need to think about a distribution instead that matches the customer's needs so in this case it's going to be something like your linux mints you know a nice simple distribution that um, lets you do everything with a click of a button if you want to or if you feel like it using the terminal it doesn't really get into the license stuff because let's face it when you was new to linux you didn't give a crap about licenses and if you did well you're probably the weird one no offense and again this is why we don't really recommend fedora to new users because they don't really care about things like this okay so we've got the ground rules on we know we want a nice distribution like mint to start them with but let's now go and look into why are we switching the customer and we're going to use customer here because it works. If the person's having a great time on Windows, <laughs> why are we switching them? Like at the end of the day, they're happy with their life. Why are we causing them drama for no reason? Just just for the pettiness of be like Linux, so everyone else must like it. If this if this is what you're finding, then you know you're the prick basically. And I'm sorry to say it. And I've been there, I know it, I've been a prick a few times. Just leave them alone. Now, if this user's coming up to you and saying they're having a lot of issues with Windows or they're scared about their new PC not being supported when they move up thanks to Windows 11 and SSE 4.1, then yeah, brilliant. Now we're looking into the reasons why we should be switching them over. So the first thing we need to do then is let's learn what this person wants. So if all their games run anti-cheat software, is Linux the best bet for them? So, no, no, of course it isn't. Like, let's show them how to upgrade their hardware, yeah? Let's not bother with um, the Linux thing. But let's just say all the person does is use a web browser or play all the games which we know will run on Linux. Then yeah, brilliant, let's get them over. And it also accounts for software if it's only Windows only and they need that software and it doesn't work brilliantly in Wine, do not switch them over. Like You're just driving people away from our community at the end of the day. We've understood that the first part of the rules is not to recommend them a super hard distro, so no LFS for the first time. Uh, we've understood exactly what the customer wants and we're going to build a system around that. So what do we do next? Well, the next thing to do is let's install the system for them because they don't know what they're doing. So we get their nice mint all set up for them. We can theme it for them to however they like it. You know, let's show off Linux. Let's show off why it's brilliant. Make it just the way they're going to like it. And also try and remember to, to understand their little quirks. So I don't know if you remember my daughter, uh, Autism, 
like that little search bar being at the bottom. Not the fact she ever used it, it just made her happy knowing it was down there at the bottom. It's a weird thing, but why are we upsetting people just because it makes us feel good, yeah? You know, we're supposed to be looking after the user, it's the distribution for the user. Install it for the user, yeah? Okay, so we've installed everything for this person. We've got all their games working, we've got all their uh, programs that they use switched over to FOSS open source programs. Brilliant. Now what? Right now, it's time to hand it over to them. And now that's not just give them the laptop and say, cheerio chum, best of luck to you. No, no, we need to be there for them. So make sure you plan a good good day to be with this person show them everything they want to know let them do it don't do it for them and just show them how things can be a little bit different for windows because come off it well, no one switched from windows to linux and found it the most easiest experience of their life it's it never happened except for maybe your grandma who you know uh, uh, clicking on the internet is you know clicking the little furry up fox in the corner of a screen that's the only person it's going to be exactly the same for everyone else there's a little bit of learning to so make sure you're there for them because if they quit and go back to windows after you've helped them switch there's only one person this is on you and that is you That is how you get people to migrate that aren't tech literate. So, why don't you drop in the comments your stories of successful or not successful, really? Let me know. Any other ideas that I didn't think of? I'd be very interested to hear. But keep compiling. I make funny Gen 2 videos while also teaching you how to use it properly. If you want to help support me, then visit my Patreon at patreon.com forward slash imolo 157. If not, just like and subscribe please, as it really helps with the algorithm.